Hi Dragon Unicorns, today we will read Dinner at the Panda Palace, written by Stephanie Thomason, illustrated by Nadine Bernard Westcott. The Panda Palace opened at 6 one night. All the tables were ready. The room was just right. As the diners arrived, they were graciously greeted. Mr. Panda himself helped each one get seated. An elephant came first with a trunk that was gray. He'd been out on the road selling peanuts all day. I'm enormously hungry. My bag weighs a ton. I would like to sit down. Have you a table for one? The lions came next. They were dropped off outside. Welcome, your highnesses. How was your ride? Traffic was awful. The bumps were bad, too. We are so glad to be here. Is there a table for two? Along came some pigs who needed to hide. Quick, Mr. Panda, let us inside. There's a wolf on our tail. We must lose him, you see. We'll stay here for dinner. Have you a table for three? A proud group of peacocks with feathers fanned wide was a most splendid sight for the others inside. With heads held up high, they walked through the door. Do we need reservations or can you seat four? And then, one by one, the monkeys arrived. They went swinging across to their table for five. The giraffes had just painted the rooftops in town. If there's a table for six, we would like to sit down. The hyenas walked in and laughed right out loud. Ha, ha, ha. They had never seen such a wonderful crowd. We've come from afar for our family meeting. There are seven of us. We do hope you have seating. A party of penguins coming straight from a ball waddled in through the door, hats, jewels, and all. This is just the right place for our elegant date. Please, Mr. Panda, is there a table for eight? The honey bear all-stars with gloves, balls, and bats had played a great game with the tiger-striped cats. We hit three home runs, so we're feeling just fine. Now it's time for a party. Is there room here for nine? Here, chick. There, chick. Where's Mother Hen? Oh, here she comes now to her table for ten. The restaurant was humming. The waiters moved fast. Feeding 55 diners was no easy task. Then through all the noise came a knock at the door. A tiny mouse asked, Is there room for one more? Mr. Panda looked left. Mr. Panda looked right. All the tables were filled at the palace that night. Did he say, I am sorry, we have a full house. We can't fit one more, not even a mouse. No, not Mr. Panda. He found one more seat. In no time, the mouse had a fine meal to eat. So if you're ever hungry and going that way, just see Mr. Panda, here's what he'll say. No matter how many, no matter how few, there will always be room at the palace for you. And thank you for the story. Thank you very much. Thank you for the story. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.